for me, I had no idea what I was coming into. I had no idea what the school looked like. I had no idea what Missouri looked like. You know, living on my own for the first time and then getting like this amazing small town vibe with St. Louis being just over the bridge. That was probably the best part for me. What I love about Lindenwood and St. Charles is how close it is to the city, so you can kind of go and do things there, but you're also out of that whole hustle and bustle thing. It's more relaxed here, but there's also this great downtown area where you can go out, and we do all kinds of dinners and stuff with my friends, and there's just so much for us to do. It's really exciting being in a place where you have mom and pop shops on a street that's over 200 years old, and then you have these growing movie theaters and trendy restaurants just a little bit further away. The surrounding community has tons of festivals every year, like Oktoberfest and these amazing art competitions. There's nightlife all the way around, especially on Main, but also there's bowling alleys all around the campus and all students love to go to the bowling alleys and it surprises you, but they have, I think Wednesday or Thursday's college student nights. Honestly, I'm 15 minutes from home, but I could make it feel like four hours because there's so much stuff to do and there's so much for you to, to find about the campus and about the area around it. It has surpassed everything that I thought about it before coming. You can go someplace near the university and people will remember you. And they'll be like, those are those students. Like, I bet you want to stay here. Like, I bet you want to catch up on homework. You know, like they, they get it. I was very pleasantly surprised to find all the things that the St. Charles community had to offer, but even more surprised to find the amount of diversity that Lindenwood's campus had to offer. About 15% of our students on campus are international students, so you meet a really, really lot of different people. I have friends from everywhere now, which is really cool. People are, you know, open to the idea of, of learning something new, and that's really awesome to see in, in such a small town. I remember when we came on this street for the first time and we were like, Whoa, like I love books. Do you see this shop? This place is crazy. Cookies as big as my face. Like that's what makes it. And like we've been in this like so long, like we're both seniors in college and now we live off campus and we still come here like on our free time so much so that people know our names, yeah. you know? And I just think that all kind of tied into like how welcoming, you know, the community was. 